Hello friends, so I thought today I would show you where I keep my art supplies. So starting with the top of my desk, I don't actually draw here that often, I mostly use it for sewing. And over here just a lot of my notebooks and sketchbooks and for some reason my CDs. But here I have my most used like drawing and writing utensils. And this one is like pens, I have my scissors, a couple like cute colored pens. So like fine liners. Yes, nice. Oh, and also hiding over there is just my good old state stapler fine liners I've had for twelve years and they're not dried up yet. And this cup is just for some reason an entire cup full of pencils. And also I keep my paintbrushes here so they don't get like banged around too much. Oh, these are little erasers. I kind of forgot I had them. They're so cute. Hannah and I are always fighting over erasers because we only have one, like, classic white big eraser, but I could use these! Nice. I have this little carrot pen um, that my mom got in her Japan box. Oh, I know, it's a pencil. And then last one, these things um, my friend Natanya had, and I was like, I love these, they're so cute, so she got me some. They're just, like, pen toppers, so if you put them in your bag, or pencil toppers. If you put them in your bag or something, they won't get your bag all dirty. Very cute. And then this last cup is my favorite. It's my markers. Um, when I like go to the park to draw, I basically just grab everything in this cup. These ones are all from a pack that Natanya got me. They have like brush tips and normal tips. And I have quite a few of these. They're just from like mini sew or something. Oh yeah, mini sew. Um, and they have like a brush tip and a normal tip, which I really like. These guys, the ones that are like yellow, are the fine liners, so then these are kind of little markers. And they're also very nice. So most of my markers are very cheap and from dollar stores, but it's a good little assortment. Alright, that's it for the top of the desk. Let's check out this drawer. I recently reorganized my desk and tried to make it more like paper and stationery in here rather than just like a bunch of stuff. Um, so in here I have my washi tape, I like to use it for like collages mostly, but they will go here. Um, these are like just paper clips, um, this is a nice special paper clip, stamps, just some things. I have a baby tape gun, um, some sharpeners, a cute stapler, a bunch of staples, uh, this is a little twin stars like stamp set. And then here's a couple of rulers and a million glue sticks for some reason. And these are just some like little notepads for if you want to grab a little post-it or something. And then this is my stationery collection. Some of it is too precious to ever use, but I do use it on a regular basis. Let's see. This is just a little book, but if you unfold it, it has like a million different papers, which is very cute. Um, Bailey got it for me at a dollar store because she was like, oh, Carla likes this. This is a little Sumiko Garashi notebook I spent too much on at Daiso. It was like four dollars. It has this cute paper and then this cute paper. Very good for leaving notes and stuff. Here's another cute Rilakkuma notebook, just says two. This I got at like a thrift store. But it's very cute, it has like four different ones and you can kind of rip them off to be separate. Oh, this one I found while cleaning my room the other day. I love Clickets, like, what a good aesthetic. Honestly, if I had a color printer, I'd probably like photocopy these so I never ran it. So let's take a look in the stationery. This is little Twin Stars set. We have envelopes and papers. These are some envelopes I probably got at Daiso. This is some Lisa Frank letter stationery I got at like a garage sale when I was five. I maybe have used one of them, but I have four left. Once again, I would totally photocopy these. Um, just some letter and envelope sets from Daiso. Mushroom one. Um, these are from a thrift store. Orange. Oh, that's all that's in this one. This is a little notebook I got at a thrift store, and I love it because every page inside is different. 
so it's kind of scary to use one because you're like, oh, this is the only one I have, but oops, and these are from somewhere else, they're a different size, but they're also, <gasps> ah, oh, this is a beautiful Sailor Moon birthday card I have, I don't even know who I like enough to give this to, I think Natanya would really appreciate it, but also I'll probably just keep it forever. Here's the Hello Kitty set, and the Choco Cat. Some more beautiful Sailor Moon stationery. A bunch of cardboard for some reason. I think that can go somewhere else. And just envelopes. That's this drawer. And this top drawer is most of my actual like coloring things and stuff. This is just an empty bag, but it's what I put all my markers and stuff in when I go out somewhere. This is also empty. It's just a little pencil case. This is my watercolor set. Here's just some extra pencils. Wow, this one is from when I was a baby. Uh, this is a package from those nice uh, markers Natanya got me. This, oh, Clickets again, a Clickit pencil case. It has drawing pencils inside. Here's my box of crayons. Mia got me in like high school. I, once again, don't use that often, but you gotta just have crayons around. These are some more drawing pencils. This is the cloth I use when I'm painting, so it's just here for easy access. What's back here? This is a beautiful little, like, pencil crayon set. I think my mom thrifted me ages ago. Very beautiful. I kind of forget it's here. It should be on display. Oh, this is kind of funny. Not really an art supply, but when I was in, like, grade one, I left my pencil case in the car and everything melted. And then I always thought these were so cool, my like melted together crayons. I know it would be very easy to replicate and I could totally make more, but these are my special accidental ones. Some little packs, here's some glitter crayons and some more markers. For some reason I have two packs of oil pastels, even though I'm not good at them. Oh, this is labeled pencils, but what's inside? Various pens and sharpies and stuff. I could um, probably condense lots of these things. And I just organized my desk. Imagine if I hadn't. Oh, these are my pencil crayons. I used to have them in one of the cups on top of my desk, but I was like, I have too many markers and pens. I need more cups for that. Ooh, last thing. Erasers. This pencil case I've had for so long. Um, lots of these erasers are super old. This, I got at a garage sale when I was very small. Something melted on it. But it has someone's name on it. There's a pencil sharpener inside, and then this is an eraser. And this is also very old. It's an eraser boat. Eraser cat. Aw, oh, this should also be on display. Pencil sharpener dinosaur. A uh, little pet shop pencil topper. Ooh, this is from the Scholastic Fair in, like, kindergarten. Yeah, so these are all erasers I wouldn't actually use, but I just have a tub full of them for some reason. And that's that drawer. What's in? The second drawer, mostly stickers. Um, I really need to get a better organization method, but this bag is full of temporary tattoos. This bag is full of, like, flat stickers. And then this one is 3D stickers. Oh, here's a bunch more random cardboard bits. I'll put them together. And then what else is in here? Just some batteries. This is, like, a big roll of paper. When we were so small, we were like, this is so cool, endless paper. But now I don't know what I would particularly use it for. And these are just some like paper scraps that were too big to get rid of. But in here, my wrapping paper collection. Pastel dinos. This beautiful vintage one. Another beautiful vintage one. This for some reason. These adorable cats. It's like pastel bunnies. Baby Disney. This definitely just came in a pack of other ones I wanted. A whole bunch more of these dinos. And Barney. I don't really use them a lot, but I could use them for collages and stuff. That's like my ideal goal use. <laughs> and let's have a look at some stickers while we're here. A couple giant stickers. I have a whole bunch of these tiny guys for some reason. Here's some beautiful unicorns. Some more unicorns. I've been using them a lot for collages, like all the little ones. Oh, I'm a sucker for Halloween stickers. I've got ghosts. I've got more ghosts. Oh, I have a bunch more of these. Um, I think it was just a giant pack I got at a thrift store. 
Some of them are very cute, like Hello Kitty. Um, these beautiful, I used to have like three packs of them that I had slowly obtained as a child. But I think this is the last pack I have left. Here's some nice little bows I got from the dollar store. Disney. Classic. Beautiful Japanese stickers. Some 3D Chip and Dale. Um, Bailey must have gotten me these. She loves Tinkerbell. Um, Mom's always getting me vegetable stickers, which are very good to have. Here's some flags I've been hoarding for ages. I've used two of them. I don't know what countries they were. Um, little fishies. Some little snacks. Alphabet. The other half of that. Oh, this is the rest of that's left from that other one. Oh, these bunnies I had for ages. Oh, these beautiful Rilakkuma ones I've also had for ages. Some little animal faces. Some Hello Kitties. Those are all my three-dimensional stickers. Oh, I also have these two packs of Folding Star papers. And I, you know, nobody needs a jar of those stars. They're always in thrift stores. But I've been using them as kind of like washi tape and collages, which is, I think, a good use. Oh, a while ago I got Adrian some stickers off Redbubble and I had to, like, buy more to get free shipping. So I got these ones. These are some super old ones that my mom probably had. Uh, I have a million sheets of Lisa Frank stickers. I think I found, like, a couple packs at dollar stores. Now I just have an endless amount. Uh, cute little budgies. All my little see through -y planner stickers are in there. I have a million banana stickers. They're terrible quality, but they're so cute. I keep buying them. Oh, these go with all those million ones, but they're not 3D. Also, obviously, I have so many stickers. I've been hoarding them for my whole life and never using them. But finally, like these last few months, or like this last month, I've been making lots of collages and using them, so I feel better about having so many, and I'm ready to start buying more. Uh, these are just some unicorns. Oh, these are the first ones I was like, I use stickers now, I need to buy more. So I got these at the dollar store, it was like one big sheet. And these are my favorite, because they're all fruit. More Lisa Frank, more Lisa Frank. Um, this is very cute, and it's actually an envelope, so you can like give someone a gift of stickers. These are probably some of my most precious stickers. They're like from the actual 80s and mom like found them in her desk so I've only used two one was on my old laptop and the ones on my new laptop oh same with these they came with the Colourpop pony makeup and I've only put one on electronics these are from a dollar store in high school and I always expect dollar stores to have more good stickers like that more Halloween more good dollar store stickers Good dollar store stickers, good dollar store stickers. So many of them. These are ancient, you can just tell. I have so many like Care Bear and G3 ones. Very good. Oh, also this from when I was a small child and was always too scared to use them. They're like name labels. My veggies. Oh, Adrian got me this at the anime convention he went to, which is very cute. Also, I don't know if you realize, it's a pride pug, which is very cute. Ooh, Hannah and I found these at the thrift store near our house for 25 cents, and they're so good. Oh, and Tanya got me these in Seattle or something, and I love them. I've used like one of them so far. More Lisa Frank. This is like a sticker book, but it has a few, oh my gosh, a few good fish stickers. These my mom got me online or something, but they're amazing. It's like just a hundred little popple stickers. Like sometimes I give one to my friends if I'm feeling generous. This I got at like Daiso a while ago, but I got it because, maybe it's not this one, there are two of them. Oh, because of this page, it's so fairy k. <laughs> Clearly, I'm saving it. They're pretty fun. There's only like three dresses per one doll, so I have a bunch of just dress stickers. I don't know what to do it. More baby Lisa Frank. These are all in strips because when 
I was in first year, I moved into my dorm. I was like, I will cut these into strips and then I will give them to everyone in my building. And then they would love me. Oh, fun fact, this came with a pair of flip-flops I bought when I was like seven. More tiny Lisa Frank dogs. And these are my most precious stickers. Um, but these are these shiny birds. I think I got most of these at a toy store when I was like 12 or something. So I was like, oh, they're not like old. And it's like, oh, actually, duh, they don't make them anymore. Good birds. These are fuzzy goats. Fuzzy animals. This one's almost gone, but they were pets. And cute little bears. And that appears to be it. And last drawer. Ba -ba -ba. Not super exciting. I have a giant glue gun, gorilla tape, and then this is all just like black paper, construction paper, and a whole bunch of lined paper and stuff. I'm not taking it out because it's a pile of paper. As you can tell, I have too much paper. Well, hope you enjoyed my little desk tour. Yeah, I don't have a lot of like fancy, expensive paints or anything. I realize most of my art collection is just like hoarded stickers and cheap supplies and stuff, but that's the kind of stuff I like to use, so that's what I've got.